Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be talking about a tool that I think Leatherman should consider making. Now, what I have here is the Leatherman signal, which is being broken apart into two pieces. I left the pliers on this side, and one we're going to be dealing with is specifically this one that includes the pocket clip. It's going to have the file, which I don't necessarily like, uh, but it does have the knife blade and it does have the internal tooling on the other side. So I saw this on Max Level EDC's channel and he actually breaks down. It's really easy to take apart the signal because of the way it's designed. And this is a viable option for a lot of people who may want to carry something a little slimmer. They just want a little bit of capability, don't necessarily want to carry a pair of pliers. Now, here I have the Gerber armbar drive and here we have the Gerber armbar slim drive. Now I've always thought since these came out, uh, that Gerber was kind of on the right track here. So what they have is a more minimalist design. So with their armbar drive, you get a screwdriver, you get a little awl, and you get a pair of scissors on this side, which the scissors and the awl are a little subpar, in my opinion. And the one flaw that they have in this, and it's true of both designs, is that they don't lock this driver in, which tends to give it, it really just doesn't have any retention at all at all. It's really my only criticism of these two minimalist tools because of the fact that they don't have retention or a way to lock the drivers in. And I think they should. Now on the opposite side, you get Gerber's knife, which does have a liner lock on it. And there's a pretty decent little EDC blade. I kind of like that blade shape as well. Now for the armbar slim drive, which just recently came out for 2021, they've reduced that down a little bit. Oh, I forgot to mention they have a little pummel here and then this rotates up for a bottle cap lifter, which is kind of nice in itself. On the slim drive, they have taken out some, a couple of those internal tools. They give you the driver, which is still non-locking. On the opposite side, they give you the knife blade, which does liner lock. And they have slimmed down their uh, bottle cap lifter to a single piece of steel here instead of the wide one that you get on the armbar drive original. So I like the direction that Gerber has been going with these, though I think they need improvement because I think that the main flaw in these is they is that they lack a locking mechanism for the screwdrivers, and I think that's important. I've always considered that Leatherman should always make a tool like this, uh, back from, you know, the, I, I've looked at uh, half handles on the Wave and Surge uh, as viable options, but the signal is actually a really good design for something like this. Now, I'm not saying necessarily that they should just take the signal handles off and incorporate this, but what you get with the signal when you t when you break it down is you get the side with a pocket clip, which actually has a pretty nice pocket clip on it. You get their little removable file, which again, I don't necessarily care for that file, but nonetheless, some people do like it. You get their knife blade. Now, this is one of the few Leatherman knife blades that I actually am okay with it being in a, uh, a combo blade. So this one and, and the Leatherman Mutt are the, are the really the only two. And that's the reason, the reason for that is because they leave a substantial amount of straight blade on here. They can actually get some decent tasks done. And their serrated blade here is pretty aggressive to get started going through man-made materi man -man -made materials like rope and uh, any number of other things, strap, whatever you have. So for this blade... I'm actually okay with it being in a combo blade. I would actually rather see it in a full straight blade, but that's beside the point. Now, on the internal tools for this side of the handle, they have the driver. They have the combo tool, which includes wire stripper, can opener, bottle opener. And then they really tuck this all in there very neatly in the same uh, space that you get the, the uh, knife blade. But the all obviously opens in the opposite direction and every one of these tools is locking now because we take the uh, the pliers out of here they have the ability and the, the spring down here is actually the mechanism that locks in this blade and helps to lock in the pliers when they're in their open position so if they did something like this that piece could be removed completely now i think with the tools that this already has and then if they were to add a very decent pair of scissors in here uh, and possibly a package opener or something of that nature. They might not be able to get the scissors in here just because of the overall length. They just don't have the space unless they were to take out one of these tools. 
which could also be an option as well. Maybe they could, uh, I'm not sure how they would be able to engineer that around, but at any rate, there's a number of different viable options for tooling that they could put in there. It could be, be configured in a lot of different ways, and there's some pretty smart people over at Leatherman that could figure out what would fit best in there. And then to make this uh, locking mechanism, and I'm sure if they eliminated the little file here, they could transfer and put the same type of lock mechanism on the other side, wherein all of the tools would be locking. So feasibly, they could have the knife blade with probably about five different tools in here and come with a nice pocket clip and everything would be locking. For some reason, I, I just, I've always thought that a minimalist tool like that, that adds good driver capability as well as a good knife blade and then add in some extra tooling could be an incredibly viable option. And it's interesting that on the signal, you could pretty much take the signal apart as is and have a pretty decent tool uh, to carry for those lighter days. Now the signal, obviously is pretty expensive to buy it just to take it apart. So I would like to see Leatherman at least take a shot at it to, to give us an option where they would just be a single handle like this, but it would be a lot more robust than what they tried to do with those juice series of tools. I didn't care for those. I would like to see it in these larger versions. And I think for the overall width of this, I don't think they would want to go any wider because of the way the pocket clip orientation is. It actually makes a pretty decent carry just for the width of it that it is now. If they go adding to this and try to add more tooling to the outside, I think they would kind of be defeating the purpose of a minimalist tool. But I think this could be an incredibly viable option for Leatherman to explore at any rate. I'd like to hear what you guys think and then how, if they decided to make this type of a tool what tooling you would like to see in there what would be what would be the most feasible options to have in a minimalist tool now that being said they already include the tooling that we've shown what would you add to the other side and and my oh excuse me my thought is to get rid of this mechanism or get rid of this mechanism here and get rid of this file so that they could basically take the same lock that they have over here and put it on the other side as well so that all of your tools will be locking. I would really like to hear what you guys think, how a setup like that would, would work for you, how you would like to see that set up. And again, I think Leatherman really ought to take a shot at this because I think a tool like this, even if it ran into that 45, maybe $50 range, if it was set up right and with the Leatherman quality, I think it could be a real big hit. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next one.